Hello friend, welcome to Stack 5 and if you help me to solve today's physics problem till the end of the video, then you get a cookie. So let's go. Hey what is up everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. In today's question we have, parallel beam of light incident normally on a wall illuminates a round spot of radius 4 cm on it, when a ball surface of which is mirrored is placed with its center on the axis of the beam and at a distance of 11 cm from the wall. A large part of the wall is illuminated but at the center of the circular shadow of radius 52 cm is formed. Find the radius of the ball. So it would be easier if we just see the ray diagram first. So if you observe the ray diagram according to the question that there is a parallel beam of light. If this reflecting spherical mirror was absent then this parallel beam of light would have created a circular spot of radius 4 cm but when this thing is kept in between the path of this parallel beam it reflects a lot of light okay hence this region this whole portion is totally dark okay so this dark shadow region is of radius 52 cm in the question it has already they have already mentioned that the center of this spherical mirror is at a distance 11 cm from this wall. Okay, So we need to find out the radius of the reflecting sphere from all this given data. Let us consider the rays which are at the end of the beam, the surface of the beam. Okay, It gets reflected by this sphere and falls at this point. Okay. So this is the boundary region. Let the angle of incidence be theta. So this is theta. So the angle made by this reflected ray with the horizontal line is 180 minus 2 theta. Okay. So, and this is the tangent on this sphere. If this is theta, this should be 90 minus theta. I have considered it as alpha. So this will be 2 alpha. So if this is alpha, this angle this angle will also be alpha okay i have not written it here so we can use simple geometry uh, i mean simple trigonometry so tan of 2 alpha is this length by this length so this length is 52 minus 4 that is 48 and this length will be 11 plus root over r square minus 4 square minus 4 square that is r square minus 16 okay and uh, tan alpha from this triangle we can write down that tan alpha is root over r square minus 16 divided by 4 just we know tan 2 alpha is 2 tan alpha by 1 minus tan square alpha just put these values i have for simplicity i have taken root over r square minus 16 as k so from here we get an equation just put the values okay will get a quadratic equation of k by solving we get k equals to 3 and we know k equals to root over r square minus 16 from there we will get the radius of the sphere as r equals to 5 centimeter so this question was pretty much in the level of je advanced okay so i am not solving unnecessary difficult questions okay because our first priority is je here okay um, so I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative and I hope your preparation is going very well. I wish you all the very best for your upcoming exams and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Take care. As you have come to the end of the video, you get a cookie. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Take care.